Hey guys, it's Darkshot the Poisoner here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. We're back in Gruntilda's lair after completing uh, Treasure Trove Cove, I believe it was. And now that we have a nice 20 jiggies saved up, I think we will start filling in uh, puzzle pieces for yet another level. And, uh,. Uh, Bottles is going to give us a little hint. If you want to fill in all the pieces in the picture, just press the right trigger. Uh, and then we can open up the brand new level. Uh, way, way over here. We haven't even seen that area yet. I need to turn my audio down because it's super loud. Anyway, that is Clanker's Cavern. So we've just opened that up, but we have a couple... I think there's a couple things I want to do before we even go in there. And, uh... Yeah, guys. Uh, how have y'all been? I have a nice cup of hot chocolate sitting next to me right now. It is recording session number two. Um, have I gone in here yet? And, yeah. Being recording session number two, I have kind of forgot <laughs> a lot of the stuff that I did in the previous ones because there's quite a large gap between uh, when I record now. I don't know. I guess I haven't been in here because I haven't activated this thing. Lucky you, I'm an involved really feather, blah, blah, blah. I do stuff. Files will tell me you more about me. Yes, I know I've activated Magic Cauldron. Can't go in this one either, I don't think. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna spit us back out. Gotta find another one to find the shortcut. And we can also go up here and we'll get a Mumbo token. If we can reach that place, let's go. You can bulk him. Um, anything else? Anything else? No, I don't think so. I think that's really all I wanted to do. Now that we're done with that, okay, we can actually go into the area that Clanker's Cavern is located in, which would be up here in this nice tube mouth cave thing. Not quite sure what to call it. Let's go over here first, uh, press the switch. It's going to raise some platforms for us so I can actually get across and get into Clanker's Cavern. So now you can see the pathway is now opened up. There is Mumbo Token up there. I think you have to climb on top of the actual Clinker's Cavern name to go and get that. Um, just gonna double check on that. Oh yeah, you can get on top of the pipe, that's right. Yeah, just like that. That's how you get that Mumbo Token. Then you go this way, and you can press this switch. So yeah, anyway, uh, it is recording session number two. That's kind of what I wanted to start talking about. And hopefully we can uh, get quite a bit of stuff done because finals for me are coming up. And I don't want to be one of those kids who always talks about that because I really hate it when people do that. All I should, all I'm gonna say is that I should be studying and then I'm playing this game instead. So, end of story. No more talking about finals because it's so boring when people do that. Like I don't really care, dude. All right, so we're gonna slam on that switch. It's gonna open up a pipe. Um, I suppose we can go in that pipe right now. That's going to open up the entrance to another level that we'll be getting to later, but let's just go in here right now. This, I think, is going to be the entrance to another level. Pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is! Yeah, it is. Wait, is there a, uh... I'm not quite sure if this is right. Is there a mumbo token down in uh, that little crack down there? No, there's not. Okay, never mind. Just want to be sure that I'm not missing anything. And we can stand on this piece and use Bottle's Trick again. Just press the right trigger and then it's going to fill in all the puzzle pieces. And because we have 100% on the first two worlds, we have plenty of jiggies left over still. So it's going to open up Bubble Gloop Swamp, the fourth level in the game, as I recall. And quick double check before we leave a room. Up. No Mumbo Token. Alright, so we're in the clear. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we're going to begin the third level of the game, Clanker's Cavern, already talked about that, yada yada yada. We'll, uh, we'll get more into specifics when we get in there. Um, all I know is that I really want to take a drink of my hot chocolate right now, but Grunty's gonna interrupt me, thanks. Wow, jeez. I want to drink my hot chocolate before it gets cold. Alright, so let's get in there, and I'm gonna take a sip of hot chocolate. Oh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, sneaky mumbo token is sneaky. Anybody else see that when they first came in? Look at that thing. Can't can't quite get it right now, but uh, we will get back to it. Just keep that in mind. Crabs are back, of course. Slam on them to kill them. Looks like this is flammable. Too bad we can't blow anything up. This is a children's game. No blowing things up. Just kidding. We blow up stuff in this game all the time. 
I think if we go out here, we're gonna get Jinjo. Yeah, there's a Jinjo hiding behind that honey hive. That's the first one in the level. Get. Grab the notes all along here. Make sure you kill those guys as they pop out of the wall. The, uh, your best bet is that as soon as they stick their head out, just use the uh, beak buster. You get uh, some nice invincibility frames as... Wow, I just fell. Well, that's okay, because we have to go back around anyway. I, I, didn't, I don't think I missed any notes either, so... Oh, go that way. No, go that way. There we go. I'm not quite sure what those are even called. I, I know they have a name, but I just forget what their, their name is. Alright, and that is how you get that mumbo token. That's also how you have to exit the world. You have to go up and around that way. So that's how you'd normally leave. Just wanted to grab that stuff so I wouldn't forget it on the way out. Um, so we have eight notes. I think that is correct. Yes. I don't really have a whole lot of things I want to talk about besides this game right now. Uh, oh, I guess I can say, you know, I've been playing uh, a whole lot of other games recently, and man alive, I've just been, I've just been, wow, hey, it's Clanker. He's the uh, garbage grinder, keep that in mind, you're going to need to uh, remember that. He is the garbage grinder, Grunty's garbage grinder Clanker. Something nice to remember. Anyway, I've been playing the crap out of Modern Warfare 3 for the rest of you who have that game. Yeah, I've been playing a little too much of it. Maybe I should put it down for a little bit. Just kidding, no, I won't ever do that. Oh, come on. Alright, so if we swim up and into this pipe, we're going to grab our first empty honeycomb piece. And then we want to swim back down. And I think through here there are some nice notes for us. Yeah, there are. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, come on. Come on, camera. Okay, oh, okay, camera. Come on, camera. There we go. That's a good camera. Alright, so we're gonna do a little loop-de-loop -loop around this level real quick before we start getting into other areas of it. Um... So, we got that. Uh, let's go... Trying to remember what I want to do first. I think there's a mumbo token at the end of this pipe right here. So we can swim on th through. Double check on that. Or is it a Jinjo? Is this the one with the Jinjo in it? Oh, it's a Jiggy. Wow! None of the above. I are so smart. That's a nice camera shot right there. You get to see Banjo and Kazooie. Oh, man alive. I don't even know. I stayed up till like 3 in the morning. 3 in the freaking morning last night playing Modern Warfare 3. That is when you know you need to put a game down. Wait, what the hell, camera? I just want to drink my hot chocolate. Mmm. Ah, uh, that's the last of it, so we don't have to bother with that anymore. Alright, let's go in here. Looks like a pretty sketch pipe. It's all green and stuff. I do not know what is going on in this pipe, but it does not look good. There's green water. There's green piss water everywhere. Alright, so let's click the notes around the perimeter first. Crap. Snippet mutants are we? Jigsaw. Wow, look at his eye, man. Crazy ass eye. Come on. So, these are just normal crabs, they're just, like, slightly mutated. I don't even think they do extra damage, they're just completely normal crabs. But we're gonna go around the outside because they have notes for us to take. Um, are there four of them in all? I think there's four in all, yeah. There we go. So you kill four of them, they're gonna give us some dialogue. Hiss, beaten, snippet, mutants, are we? Yours is prize! So we get a jiggy for that. We also get a few notes in the process. So we gotta go back uh, around this way, jump up here, and that is how you get the jiggy. Do a little, nice little dance right there. We can roll ourselves on out of here. All right, back into the main hub of the uh, level. I'm gonna keep swimming around the bottom perimeter, see what we can't find. 
Um, I don't think there's anything of importance in this pipe. Yeah, it's just feathers. And that one's eggs, and the other one is gold feathers. So I think the next pipe we need to go in is that. Uh, get out of the- Get your fit out of here, man. Uh, oh wait, there's a pipe right here, too. It's this one. I think we also need to go up. Yeah, okay. Yep, this is the one with the ginger. I knew there was one. And I thought there was one with a mumbo token in it, too. It might be this next one, but we're gonna go up and get some air first. Breathe! <gasps> Whoa, camera, can you get unstuck? There we go. This one. Is this the one with the mumbo token in it? Clanker's Cavern, are you- yeah, it's a mumbo token. Clanker's Cavern is, for some strange reason, a level that I blank on the most, mostly because it's like one of those worlds where it's not very linear in any way, shape, or form. You can sort of go off on your own and do things in any order that you really want to. And when left with those kind of decisions, I kind of like lock up. I go like, oh my god, what do I throw? I don't know. Alright, so I think we can get up. Yeah, we can. Is that we can get on the other side too? Uh, no. I don't. Oh, we can do that thing over there. We'll do that. We'll do that next. All right, so we gotta climb up this little pole right here. Go to our left. And, uh, wait, hold on a sec. Are these open? I think they are. Yeah, they're open. So there's some notes in here, and then I think there's a nice little reward at the end. Just gotta keep going around doing this kind of stuff. I think this is sort of like the first example we've had of that. And then we get an extra life if we go all the way around. And then there's, a. Uh, a platform we can jump to on the bottom. Guy's gonna come out so you can kind of skip to the side like that and uh, get out of his view. Or get out of his range of attack, rather. That's kind of what I wanted to see instead. Um. Oh no, we can't do that thing yet, because check it out. If we go over here and we try and, uh, if we try and fly up here, you'll see it's too high for us. We can't, we can't quite get up there, so we're gonna need to do some other stuff first. Which really just means, you see that big-ass hole underneath Clanker with his chain? Well, he wanted to get up and get some fresh air. So, uh, I think we're gonna have to swim down there and see what we can do about that. So, guys, get ready for the most nerve-wracking part of any child's video game ever. And, uh, get used to swimming physics, large areas, uh, suspenseful music, and running out of air. So, if you're claustrophobic, I recommend not doing this portion of the level first, simply because it is quite the ordeal to go through. Now we have some little animal thing sneaking up behind us right now, might as well check him out, see what he's got to say. Looks like he's spitting bubbles, it's pretty cool looking. He might give us a bit of an introduction, yes. Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles, if you're low, oh, on, low on air, that's what he said. Come on, give me this note. Alright, so usually I like to swim the opposite way of Gloop, uh, just because, uh, you know, by, uh, rather just because of the fact that you'll encounter him more often, and you'll be swimming towards him, he'll be swimming towards you, all that good stuff. I'm gonna get all the notes first before I deal with that little key that you just saw there. Not really a little key at all, it's actually kind of a big key. Alright, I'm gonna follow Gloop again, go back around, grab some air, and swim through this keyhole, if you check this out. Swim through the keyhole, it rotates, swim through it again. You can actually just swim through the keyhole the same way each time if you really want to, like, if I swim through it this way as well. It doesn't make a difference. So we turn the key, and it will, uh, start to loosen Clanker right here, it's gonna bring him more towards the surface, and we're going to be able to do more stuff in the level now that we've uh, helped Clanker out a bit. So that is actually a very... That's pretty much the only required thing to do in this level. So Clanker has fresh air. You find a reward on Clanker's back. Thanks, Clanker. You know, he is a garbage grinder, so no surprise that he has random crap like that lying around. <laughs> 